I'm Georgia Productions and I join you from the land of the Awabakal and Waramai peoples and this is YouTube FanFest Australia 2021. Alright, alright, grab a seat everyone. Let's get started. Okay, listen, hey, listen up, listen up. I don't want to be repeating myself. Jimmy, get up. Leave this classroom immediately. Get out! Now! No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's not my time I'm wasting, guys. I could do this all day, honestly. Like, I'm fine with my follower count, guys. 112 close friends only. Status? Private. I'm not chasing that life, but you know who is? Alright, let's get started. Alright, so how many of you are aspiring actors or models? All of you! <laughs> no, no, nothing to be ashamed of, guys. That's why we're here. To learn. Alright, actors, let's go through a couple of quick tips, okay? Get a steady flow of bloopers on your feed, and if you don't have any bloopers, film some yourself, even if they're staged, alright? It lets people know that you are working on your craft yet simultaneously shows that you can be a little bit goofy on the job, all right? So see, see how my glasses just fell down? That was a purposeful blooper. I'm gonna use that in my blooper feed. I hope you guys are writing this. Johnny, you're writing this down. Fake it till you make it, all right? All right, secondly, now you're an aspiring actor. You are considered by some as an artistic flavor. So purchasing a camera with film should be priority number one. Preferably silver, has a little wind back shutter system and an extra. But a cheap disposable Kodak uh, should be just as good to reach the desired aesthetic. But my God, if I see another person post that A, has people that I can clearly recognize in it, or B, is in color and not black and white, I might just slap someone. <laughs> okay, stay in your lane, people. I'm sorry, I got a bit worked up there, guys. Uh, bio, bio options are minimal. The standard industry setup is usually as following. All right, so name, standard. If you're a guy, make sure you've at least got one Chris in there somewhere. Girl, uh, Jennifer, simple. 
um, uh, look into changing this regularly. It shows acting range, possums. Uh, under occupation, you want artist, naturally. Zodiac symbol, this is surprisingly optional, honestly. Uh, just make sure it's followed by a little quirky phrase like, I dress up for a living, or make believe is my believe. Uh, just make sure it's funny, on it. And then under that you want your agent stated. It shows legitimacy to your colleagues, everyone, and then uh, a link to a show reel or something. All right, models, I have six words for you. Promote, 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 and y yeah. Now some of you will inevitably be luckier than others. Uh, some have a little flavor of the month vibe, but the ones that stick around the longest are the ones with consistency. Yeah. You wanna make it in this industry? Well, guess what? Now you have unpaid, uninvoluntary employers on your books. But miss, what are you talking about? I'm so scared. Shut up. Great question though. Who indeed? Your mum, your brother, your sister, girlfriend, boyfriend, nen, neighbor. Are you a yummy mummy? Your child, anyone. Use your surroundings, people. Adapt, thrive, survive. They are never too young to hold the phone in front of their face and snap a juicy shot for you because it's a jungle out there and it's eat or be eaten, people. Sorry guys, got a bit worked up there. Uh, bios. Bios, we've got to keep it minimal. Bio options are a little bit broader for models. You can just spice it up and inject your own take on it, really. Now, girls, don't let that word trigger your lip injection addiction, all right? I need you to calm down a bit on that, all right? Some of you be looking like Pennywise when you smile. Uh, name, you can just simply opt for your first name because realistically, no one really remembers it anyway. All in lowercase letters, ideally, because you are vanilla. All optional as well, because uh, realistically, you're only appealing to tradesmen, etc. A strong zodiac symbol is anus. Uh, No-goes are Scorpio and Aries, I repeat. If you were born in those months, go to the government, go to the black market, I don't care, just change that ish instantly. Um, you also want it to follow with another quirky phrase, like something like um, sunshine chaser, or like free thinking lollipop. Um, you get the idea, you get the idea. Uh, sorry to interrupt. What? Uh, is this Influencer Business 101? Down the hall. All right, so what do we say when people respond negatively? No, this no, isn't a pyramid scheme, scheme. It's, it's a business, business opportunity. opportunity. Good, very good everyone. Take five. Oh my gosh, I love Georgia. She honestly cracks me up. Thank you so much, Georgia, for the laugh trip. Speaking of trips, we're taking things to the great outdoors with some adventure and creator siblings with Black Ass and Mother the Mountain Farm. The boys of Black Ass are coming to us all the way from Arnhem Land and we are just incredibly honored to have them. Let Chico, Jerome, Dino and Josh of Black Ass take us through some of the best spots for adventure in the real Aussie Outback. We also have a wonderful story about the importance of restoring nature, courtesy of Creator Sisters, Julia and Anastasia of Mother the Mountain Farm. This is the perfect adventure for everyone out there staying at home. Without further ado, let's welcome Black Ass and Mother the Mountain Farm. Woo! Hello YouTube FanFest 2021, I'm Joseph of Black Ass. I'm Dino from Black Ass. Here's some of our best moments. Check it out.
We're Mother the Mountain Farm and we're so excited to share our story with you for YouTube FanFest Australia 2021. We are sisters. I'm Julia and Anastasia. And this is our home in the Australian rainforest. <laughs> we grew up here amongst the waterfalls, the magical forests and the fruit trees. And recently we both made a decision to move back home to this special place. <laughs> We left behind the city and our careers. Julia is an artist and I'm a fashion designer. And many people thought that we were strange to choose a simple life away from the world. But it turned out to be the best decision we've ever made. Living a simpler life in nature has taught us more than we could have ever imagined. <laughs> the night was over. In the ancient roots, the blue streams, and the fruit-filled trees, we found a new hope for the future of the planet. The interconnected web of nature taught us to not feel hopeless for the future of the climate, but to dream for a better world. It has taught us that, through simple actions, we are able to make meaningful change. We have learnt to give more than we take, and to us, this is what regenerative living means. To leave the world better than we found it. Living here has made us feel so alive, free to create, swim, hike, and find joy in all of the smallest moments. We've grown so much, and every day we learn a little more. So join us on our journey as we learn to build, farm, garden, create and live with the land.
This is the land of the Arakwal and Minjibal people of the Bunjalung Nation. And these practices of living in harmony with nature systems, practicing permaculture and regenerative farming, owe their roots and theories to indigenous knowledge. The animals bring us so much joy each day, but they also do so much for the land. They eat weeds and make room for diverse plants. They fertilize the dirt and make rich soil that can grow fresh food. We learned that caring for animals could not only heal us, but also heal the planet. The land taught us that regenerative practices weren't limited to farming and agriculture, but that we could generate change in everything that we do. That we could build from recycled materials and scraps and save them from landfill. That we can sew long-lasting garments from discarded fabrics and create change in an industry so full of waste and consumption. This life has taught us so much. We learned to hope but we also learnt to work for change. We learnt the power of listening to nature. We learnt the importance of connection. We learnt that a better world is possible. Thank you Black Ass and Mother the Mountain Farm for those awesome videos. We love seeing the beauty of Australia and we look forward to visiting you guys hopefully one day soon. And we've got heaps more adventures to come. Now time to get up close and personal with explorer Miller Wilson. Now I have some trivia. Oh. Aside from his unique wilderness adventure, he also was working on his own charity. The Future is Nature, which aims to raise funds for international conservation and create awareness and understanding about the beautiful creatures and nature we have right in our backyard, here in Australia and around the world. Today, Miller will be showing us his origin story, the place where his YouTube journey began. Find out only here on YouTube Fan Fest 2021 Australia! Hey, I'm Miller Wilson and today I join you from Jinanbara and Gubby Gubby land. My YouTube channel showcases the most amazing flora and fauna in this area. And thanks to YouTube Fan Fest, today this is where the adventure begins, right at my house. I'm going to explain how I create my content, how I started my channel and what inspires me. So let's start heading up the creek and get into the adventure. <laughs> Look at this. So we've just made it down to the creek system and this pool right here is pretty special to me because this is the place where I filmed my first ever video on YouTube. From a very young age, I was so incredibly passionate about nature. I used to love watching Steve Irwin documentaries and I actually grew up on this creek system. So I used to come out here, interact with all the animals and experience the flora and fauna in this area. I actually used to go to school every day and tell my friends, oh, I saw an echidna or I found a snake. And they were like, why don't you film it? So I got a GoPro when I was about 12 years old, started documenting the videos and posting them right here on YouTube. But yeah, it's super cool to come back to the exact pool that I started this channel because this is where it all began, right here. Look at that. So he was actually trapped under this rock right here 
and that is the beautiful non-venomous green tree snake. So often I get asked, what is the goal for my channel? What is my mission? And it's honestly just to bring people closer to nature, to show everyone how amazing these animals are. Some people are scared of snakes. I want to show them that these guys aren't out to hurt you. Some people are afraid of sharks. I want to show everyone how beautiful these animals are. And my end goal is just to spread the message of wildlife conservation. There you go, mate. Don't get trapped under any more rocks. So what some people don't realize is how much effort actually goes into making these videos. For instance, the last video that I posted on my channel was about platypus and that took me six months to make. Going out and filming them every couple days until I got enough footage to actually piece the video together. And a lot of the time I'm filming these videos by myself. So say I wanted to get a shot of me up on this waterfall up here. I'll have to put my camera down, climb all the way up around the side of the waterfall, get the shot of me on top of it, climb climb all the way back down and retrieve my camera, then climb up the top of the waterfall again and keep going. I also edit all of these videos myself, which sometimes takes upwards of 12 hours. But the finished product that you get at the end and the reward you get after everyone starts loving your videos is so worth it. And that's another reason why I still do it to this day. So after six years of creating content, you're probably wondering what inspires me to keep going? What inspires me to get outdoors? I have been so heavily inspired by animals and nature since I was so young and walking out into here, forgetting about everything else. Having an audience that loves the outdoors just as much as me really pushes me to get outdoors and create new content for all of you. Okay, so that was such a beautiful experience up this creek system. So I'm gonna start walking back home, back up to my house right now. But I just wanted to leave you with some advice for everyone wanting to start a YouTube channel out there. So when I was 12 years old, I was just a kid with a passion and a dream. And I decided to chase it and YouTube was a platform that allowed me to do this. And I feel like people could see my passion through my content. So keep doing what you love and your passion will shine through your content. Thank you very much, I'll see you all again in the next adventure. Hey guys, my name is Kevin. And I'm Luke from SMG4. And we come from the land of the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation. Hope you guys are enjoying the wonderful lineup of creators and artists from all over Australia in this wonderful place we call home. As you all know, it's been a difficult time for everyone uh, and we've all been coping in our own way. Um, we've been through some challenges. Kevin and I, like, uh, we've all been working from home and it's like we have a lot of people that work with us and you know, we keep, we keep positive through just like keeping together, playing games and like always... A lot of Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft a lot of Minecraft helps. encouraging each other all the time. It's really great. Yeah. On my end, I've been coping through all of this with like a lot of just uh, internet, uh, internet memes, a lot of internet videos, a lot of YouTube vids. And, your, and Donkey Kong. Your boy Donkey Kong, you know, he's always there whenever you need him. Yeah, so just... There's nothing more Australian than Donkey Kong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, the biggest thing for me is actually making content and see how it impacts you guys out there. The, just the fans, the community that we created, you guys enjoying our content, just reading your comments, talking to you guys, also gets us through this very hard time because it, it nothing makes me happy. So thank, we thank all of you. Alright guys, up next we have Marion Gratsby, an author, content creator and businesswoman known for her dumplings, noodles, cheese and pretty much all things tasty. Marion is on a mission to make cooking more joyful, tasty and easier for everybody around the world. And her food is delicious. Is that right, Donkey Kong? Hey guys, it's YouTube Fan Fest. So exciting. I am super pumped to be here joining you guys. Uh, now, I am coming to you from Gubby Gubby country. Uh, we are in Tawantan near Noosa in Queensland, Australia. Uh, now, what I'm doing for you guys today is, I guess, a very uh, typical recipe that you would see on my YouTube channel. I am a little bit Thai, I'm a little bit Australian, uh, and so a lot of my recipes um, use a bit of influence from both. And so today I'm going to be doing a really classic Chinese salt and pepper, uh, salt and pepper prawn, but I'm going to be using uh, super local, beautiful, wild caught 
Malulaba prawns. They are uh, from nearby here uh, and actually we have a beautiful waterway near here, the Noosa River, which comes out uh, into the ocean there and amazing seafood, amazing uh, local produce here. So I wanted to showcase some of that, that for you guys. Uh, all right, so let's get started, shall we? Um, we're gonna start off with uh, uh, some really beautiful spices first of all. So I'm gonna grab some Szechuan peppercorns. So if you haven't used Szechuan peppercorns, um, these guys are beautifully fragrant. They add kind of like a zingy spiciness um, and they make things like a little bit tingly, if you like. <laughs> a weird but beautiful sensation. Uh, I'm gonna add also some black peppercorns and a really good pinch of salt here. I just grind that up. Ah, oh, that smells so good. I wish you guys could be here with me, but you know, this is the next best thing. Um, let's just sprinkle. So these are my beautiful prawns. These are the local Malulaba prawns that I just love. Uh, so typically I'm actually based in Bangkok, in Thailand. A lot of you who, who may have been watching my channel uh, over the years would know that a lot of my content is filmed, was filmed in Bangkok. That's where I was based uh, until COVID last year. Uh, when everyone's world changed and I came back here to Australia and I've been fil filming some great stuff here locally. It's been really great to be back at home uh, and reconnecting with everyone back here. So, all right, prawns are lovely and seasoned now. Uh, let's get in here. Actually, I might turn my oil on and get that going. Now we want to mix together our flowers. So I've got some plain flour. I like to cut the plain flour with a little bit of rice flour. That kind of lightens things up a little bit. So with my salt and pepper prawns, I like things to be just slightly crispy on the outside, not too much like thick battery kind of stuff going on. Nice elegant kind of salt and pepper coating. All right, so give this a mix. Okay, so to test if our oil is hot enough, really low tech way here, just wooden spoon into the oil and you just wanna see some bubbles gathering there around the wooden spoon, there you go. Okay, let's get my prawns coated in the flour. Ah, this is the type of recipe I really love. Super simple, but so much big flavor. And we're gonna add even more flavor later after we've cooked the prawns. So these go in. Okay, just kind of get our prawns separated in here. Oh, they look so good already. All right, I'm gonna resist the urge to eat all of these right now. And I'm gonna uh, swap out my hot oil for a clean wok. All right, final stage here. So I want my pan on, and a little bit of oil here. I'm gonna add in some garlic, and my chilies and spring onion. And I pop our prawns back into here. I'm getting that, chi I'm getting that chili cough <laughs> thing going on. I reckon we add in a little bit more of our pepper salt here. Oh, look at those colors. This is the kind of dish that makes me really happy. All right, so prawns go out. A little wedge of lime. So there you go, guys. My very local Australian Malulabar prawns, but done in a very classic Asian spicy kind of way. Mm. That smell. Oh, that is so ridiculously good. Mm. Thanks for joining me, guys. Have fun with the rest of FanFest. Much love. Bye. Welcome back, guys. Now, as you can see, we are still not over that surprise message from SMG4 and Kevin. I love how our creators this year are going the extra mile to give us words of wisdom. And I just love that they're being role models. Their fans will surely love it. And we're just getting started. Up next, we have confidence queen and body positivity advocate, Susie J. Todd, who's going to be showing us how to put some looks together for Fan Fest. She will be followed by Chloe Hayden, who is an actress, a motivational speaker, and an advocate for autism and ADHD. And she'll be bringing us a very special song. Take it away! This video was filmed on Ngunnawal country. <laughs> Hi Susie, it's Adrian from YouTube Fan Fest here. Is it the 21st already? Uh, yeah. Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in.
tuning into YouTube Fan Fest 2021. I'm Susie J. Todd. Today, I thought I'd show you how I get ready for YouTube Fan Fest 2021. So what time is it? Time to get a watch. I only have an hour to get ready. Let's go. <sighs> First step is my workout because I was born with a smoking hot body, but I still like to keep fit and healthy. shower and then it's makeup time. Now I need to get my makeup done. I have an entire glam squad that does my makeup so they should be here any minute. Any minute now. So unfortunately my glam squad couldn't show up today so I guess I'll just be doing my makeup myself and I think I'm gonna do something natural. Perfect. And now for the hair. <sighs> It's giving very much intergalactic space princess and I love it. And what is a festival without some festival fashion? So let's choose my outfit. I'm definitely not going to FanFest looking like this. So let's try something else. Ooh, okay. This is definitely an option. Loving the bright two piece moment. Super cute, but I think I want to try something different. Oh my God, this is so cute with the boots and everything. It's missing something. Oh, that made all of the difference. I don't know, I think I wanna try one more thing. I think we found the one. I'm ready to go to Fan Fest. I'm ready to go to Fan Fest. Okay, now that I'm all ready for YouTube Fan Fest 2021, it's time to arrive. Oh. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'm Susie J Todd. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe and hopefully I'll be there next year in person. Bye guys. I'm currently getting ready for fan fest. I've got all my lights and my setup behind me. I've got all my makeup in front of me. I'm so excited. Let's go. Let me be honest. I still have no idea what to do when it comes to makeup. I'm not a beauty YouTuber. I'm not Zoella. I'm not Nikki Tutorials. I have no idea what I'm doing. But you know what? I've learned from the best. I've learned from the YouTubers before me. And we're not doing too bad. <laughs> right, basics is done. She's looking... She's doing okay. Anyway, let me show the glitter. Here is my glitter collection. Like all of this, not that, that's a Ariana Grande perfume. That's not you. But everything else here, it's all, there's, it's all glitter. I think for today, we're going to go with this one here. Look how pretty it is. The secret of glitter is to just go for it. Measure it with your heart. There is no, there is no such thing as too much. You simply just go. <laughs> I'm gonna fix up my hair and get some earrings in and do my outfit and I'll see you guys in a second. Let's go! Okay, so I've got a little dinosaur earring here. I've got a little rainbow earring here. I've got my face done. I've got my flower crown on. I've got a dinosaur top on because uh, dinosaurs are my crown of fixation. Don't ask why. It just happened. Uh, and I've also got my little rainbow uh, handmade jacket. So, ah, I'm so excited. I will see you guys very, very soon. Hi guys, my name is Chloe Hayden. I am so excited to be joining you guys today from the land of the water on people and to be singing to you my song, A Song About Ableism. Let's go! There isn't anything that can cause ASD No pseudoscience solution scheme or conspiracy There's nothing to explain, no cause or reason for It's simply who we are, it's not something to ignore
psychologically, come on, let's be realistic, environmental factors and modern medication. I beg you, please just get an education. It's common sense to know that we don't need a cure. Trying to change a person's being is a bit obscure. The reason that there's more than we've ever seen before is we don't have to suffer in silence anymore. who, through the medium of dance covers, want to show the world their talent, hard work and love for K-pop. Hey guys, we are... Nerve! Unfortunately, because of the lockdown situation here in Melbourne, us Nerve Boys couldn't come together in person to film. But, we won't let that stop us from performing for you all. So. Today, we are coming to you from all over Melbourne! We wish to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands on which we all meet today and recognize their continuing connections to land, waters, and community. We pay our respects to them, their culture, and to elders past, present, and emerging. Excuse me, do you have that sauce that is spicy? made in Korea. Spice on him. Six L, Mr. Alpha. Six L, Mr. Alpha. My 
Level up. I'm Tegan. I'm Sam. And we are Three Twins. See ya!